Lavisher. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I got I got a video here from Rick and Leanne Morsh. And I said last week, because they were in the chat, that um, I'm a fan of their code. And, and I don't think that uh, a lot of the younger people got that. Maybe you can explain why I would be a fan of Rick and Leanne Morsh's code. Well, back in the olden times, there was something called Morse code. Yeah. M-O-R-S-E that people would use when they were out to sea or maybe uh, during wartime. Yeah. And it was like... Beep, 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 beep. Danger, danger! <laughs> yes. A message to all the ships at sea. Yeah. Anyway, so. Did we explain the humor out of that joke? <laughs> there was never any in there it. There wasn't? No. All right. He says, hey, Ken, your friend Rick here, having surgery to remove a large cancerous tumor this morning... So not sure if I can catch TNL, but I will try. Here is the last video that I made at Lake Elsinore, California, a couple weeks ago, and I pray after Thursday there will be many more, and we hope so as well. I'm going to go ahead and start this while I read the rest of his. I flew this with my Phantom 4 Pro, which I lost to the mountain gods last Friday. I know exactly where it is, but getting to it is nearly impossible. Line of sight, Rick, line of sight. You have to perform your editing magic as the music is obviously copyrighted. Yeah, I changed out the music on this. The music he used was uh, Never Let You Go from Celine Dion or whatever. Something. Oh. It was a theme to the Titanic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My heart I, will go on. My heart will go on. I want to give a big shout out, he says, to all the brave doctors and nurses at UC San Diego and everywhere. A hearty wave to Ashley from my dear wife, Leanne. Thanks again for all you do. Your show will be a big part of my recovery therapy. Rick and Leanne Morsh. Oh, thanks, you guys, and I hope your surgery went well this morning and that you're able to watch this later. There's so many beautiful parts of the country that I'll only be able to see because of people that send in their drone videos. I think that's awesome. I think we're going to see Rick here. There he is. Very nice. Thanks, man. That was awesome. Hope you're feeling better. Hope they gave you lots of good drugs. <laughs> Isn't that what you Tim always talk Rehan. about? Tim Rehan, $15 in the chat. Can hey. you include eyeballs for a Phantom 2? Love the show. Although your other co-host is better looking, lol. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is better looking. <laughs> Chris Rollins. Oh, he means oh he means he means Ashley. <laughs> hey, speaking of Chris Rollins, he sent me a video the other day. Once in a while he'll just send me videos on on my phone of what a project that he's doing or just something. And I'm glad he does. Cause some of them are hilarious. And I had to have him send me the ten eighty version of this. Uh this is a clip from I think he was being interviewed by someone for a video or something. And he had his new baby. You know, he's got a new baby. Had his new right. baby with him. So th this is really indicative of what it's like to try to go on with your life, but having a new baby, being a new father. Uh, this is from Chris Rollins. This is what he's been doing lately. All right. I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> big struggle. So when I write my scripts, I write for if I'm on the where are we at right now. Uh, as far as I've done a lot of video for a lot of people, and so it gets to a point where uh, people kind of. In, in, <laughs> from one another, you know. One of the things that I did was I wanted him. Can you hear me? Okay. Every individual that's on your film set, <laughs> challenging of itself, but then casting. I have like a, I have like a, a note that I've, uh, is it? yeah, this you've gotten the opportunity to do stuff that I haven't and thank you. Say mommy's at work. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, did he upload that to his channel? That's a million views right there. I don't know, uh, but it's great, but vertical video, Chris. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but uh, isn't this kid cute? I, now I'm not a parent th that I know of. Uh, but uh, Kelly, <laughs> how many times have you, you when you were first a, a new dad? Now your oldest daughter is how old? 
Uh, my oldest daughter is 20. How many times did you almost drop her? Oh, you want to know a story? Yeah, go on. This is terrible. I brought her home from work one day and took her out of her car seat. It was like a two-piece car seat. You press a button and pull out the carrier. And so she's still in the carrier. I walk inside, set her on the kitchen counter, and then I get a phone call. So I'm on the phone, and she's behind me, and she starts rocking her carrier and falls off the kitchen counter. Luckily, she's still strapped into her seat, but she's face down, you know. Oh. She never hit, never hit the floor, but man. If I had unbuckled her, oh yeah, I'd have, been, I'd have been in trouble. Yes, I imagine a lot of new parents have that moment where they're just, you know, and then like you know, the head's kind of heavy, and it's like whoa, 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 you know. Yeah, like, I mean, you learn, you live and learn, and their kids are tougher than you think, is physically, but wow, mm, that was a close call. Did you ever tell her that story? Yes, I did. What'd she say? Haven't talked to her since then. Not sure. Oh. <laughs> So you guys are close, are you? Very close. Oh, very okay. close. Uh, oh, by the way, some good news. Here's some good news. Yeah. Rick Morse in the chat. He says, I'm here. Surgery went well. Thanks so much. Oh, that's great. Great. Yep. Glad to hear it, Rick. Glad to hear it. Uh, 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 